Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back um, to Oxhead Studios, Jordan. Um, this is a bit of a different episode for me in the channel. Um, what it is, is I decided to do an unboxing video of um, one of the Kickstarters I recently received. Uh, this one is uh, for a game called Wastelands. Now, this uh, company, Thunderchild Miniatures, they're develop well, they're their own company. They've been doing their own range called um, uh, Radtown. They were doing miniatures for, uh, for their own little thing called Radtown. And then they did a Kickstarter earlier this year. Now, I entered it because I actually quite liked the look of the miniatures and they were stunning. Uh, the game itself, I haven't had a chance to play. Obviously, I've got the rule book now. So, I can actually look down and sit down and actually think about having to play it. Because uh, i got two um, factions, as you could call them. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what I've got. This is part one because um, unfortunately the behemoths uh, were not ready to ship and instead of, um, oh November was the allotted um, due time to send out and he decided that it was better to send anything that he's got rather than nothing which I'm very grateful for and I actually am quite happy to receive at least part of my shipment. But yeah, so I figured what I've done is I've opened the box and we will crack on from here. So. Basically, with this game, it's uh, an action point based game. They have uh, a lot of uh, sweet features. Um, they are very. It's a bit. Uh, the game itself is basically set in post post apocalyptic wastes, so it's very reminiscent of Fallout and the Fallout series. Um, I don't know where he got his idea from. And uh, just to let you know, this is actually one guy who's done his own studio. So the fact that he's actually got an I. God knows how many orders, I can't remember what it was now, but yeah, it's visually stunning. Um, yeah, so basically, this is the rule book itself, so Waste Man, um, stunning, full colour. Um, we are talking, he has gone to town on the actual design of this game, which is stunning. Um, yeah, some of this original artwork is just grotesque and beautiful at the same time, <laughs> quite frankly. Uh, yeah, it goes into weapons and charts, and it's got everything. I mean, this has all the factions. It even has uh, trader rules, pack animals, cannibal rules. I mean, this thing is quite a sweet little game. Yeah, it's even got for what happens when you come across wild beasts and stuff like that. So it is a bit of a, a full-on game. So you know, so the way that uh, the factions work. So you generate, sorry, no faction, a syndicate is what we call. So you develop a syndicate, and you develop from. You can either take a boss and build up your own little gang, or you can use specific um, uh, rules around it sort of thing. So you have civvies, or civilians. You have the militia. You have bandits. You have the lunar coalition. You have critters, which is like lots of uh, mutated beasts. Mangle men, who are sort of mutants. The Roboto blah, rob I can't say this word. Robotopians, <laughs> who are basically robots. The Cyb Jorks. I'm sorry. I am really sorry, Thunder Child. I am butchering your names. I apologise for that profusely. Uh, yeah, so basically those are the main factions. And then you have Behemoths. Now, Behemoths are gigantic creatures and such as the Mermoth. Or this is the one I've ordered the Rad Dragon. That thing is sweet. Basically, a massive walking, gigantic lizard that breathes fire. Basically, Godzilla. And you're probably going to get painted like Godzilla, quite frankly, because I love Godzilla. But yeah, you know, Panzer Beast. He's basically yeah. He's he has set himself up and he's stunning. As I said, a full visual artwork. Starting the game. He's got lots of different scenarios set up in here. I believe there's six on top of my head. But yeah, and obviously it gives you how to start and deploy it, everything. This. Uh, this, the book alone is stunning. It is fantastic, and I cannot believe the amount of detail and quality that he has gone into. I mean, just I can't do this art justice. You know, this is just weird and awesome. Reminds me of uh, H. P. Lovecraft in some ways. Yeah, and then reference and token system at the back, so you can photocopy that. And basically, what you have here is called activation markers. Now, with the activation markers. You get them whenever you order your faction. So, for example, this is one of the factions I ordered. Now, with that, as you can see, you get all these in here. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to open these up. And the benefit is, because they're not fully sealed, you can pop open the back. 
and just like that, bing! Some foil, he's got some replica bases, unfortunately the actual proper uh, game bases aren't ready either yet, but that's coming along with the beam, so again, I'm not fussed, this actually gives me time to get these, these painted up rather nicely. So in a pack, in a faction pack, you will get your cards to uh, how how your guys work, all the different characters in the pack. You get your activation tokens, which are bottle caps. And this one is Moodus, because these are for the bandits. These are for the bandits, and these are Moodus tokens. Now, when I actually ordered these, I thought these were going to be plastic, because the fact is, these are actual metal, and they are visually beautiful quite frankly I really do love them the miniatures themselves are metal and uh, the behemoths are going to be resin as well as the bases but yeah but you've got what? I can just uh, buddy calm down <laughs> I know it's a stunner model but calm down yeah so that is a uh, I don't know what her name is actually should we look it up it'll be easy so we open the pack. The fact is that these are packaged very well. I mean, just for one guy on his own. I'm again, as I said, this is one guy. He does this himself, and yeah, I'm more to credit to him. I'm going to put a link in the description to his store. So that was Nurse Betty. Nurse Betty. She has a shiv. She uh, has armor, flak pads. She's a trained medic and a cannibal. Lovely. Army. <laughs> She's a cannibal. Are they all cannibals? No, no, but not. But yeah, but that's it. As you can see, these guys are visually stunning. I might have to do try and do a comparison to see, so I can show off the scale and size of them. Uh, I would say they're sort of judge, judging they're a bit bigger than a, a Warhammer 40k. That's the one I normally use. Yeah, this is the uh, pit boss. This is the bandit boss. I love her. I just love that shield. That shield's going to get some awesome designs on it. I'm actually half tempted to make it look like. Um, uh, one of the ones in from the Captain America movie, the original one, you know, where uh, he's looking at all the different shield prototypes and just looks like But yeah, so anyway, this is the bandit box. So yeah, again, stunning, you know, you get activation tokens. So that is just one faction, and for that one faction, you get five models. So that's the boss and everything. The benefit you actually can do with this game as well is you can actually make your own character. So you don't have to just do the characters that he's giving you here, you know, as often as to stop you developing your own guy from, you know, using parts from any other system you want. And, you know, give you the weapons, give it that. The book actually helps you show all the different weapons. So you can actually work out a rough points cost and sort of and point it appropriately, which is quite sweet on that front, on that front as well. So ooh, get the bases in there. So again, packed up nice and neat, it's amazing. Okay, second one, I believe I ordered the Militia, because I wanted two different factions. So one, I could actually have games with my friends on site. Uh, Jack from the studio also did go for this Kickstarter, and so I'm going to have to get these painted up, and I've told him to get his painted up, and we are going to have to have a little battle on shore. So you lovely people can see. So again, these their activation caps are this beautiful blue, and it is irregular jaws. <laughs> so as you can see, we have the sheriff. He's the leader of the posse, and again, visually stunning. That's it. I'm gonna have to get these guys painted up and get them on the studio channel as soon as I can. But yeah, these guys are really good looking. Absolutely fabulous. Don't know what sort of styles and colours I'm going to do, but I normally like to do sort of gritty colours. So I'm going to have to have a sit down, have a think. I mean, I might try and bring the activation colour into it, but you know, he he did all his ones there, and yeah, I mean, as you can see, these things are very good looking. I mean, yeah, Boss Westman Sheriff. You have Jesse Jane, Red, Crazy Zeus, <laughs> Crazy Zeus, trained trader and a medic. The benefit of that are traded is they can trade for better weapons, if I remember right. I've, I've had a very, very quick, rough look at the uh, the rule book. But yeah, I'm definitely uh, definitely going to have to sit down in a few, for a few nights and have a decent read. So, some of the other models that I got... Oh, sorry, also when you get the rule book, you get mad cards. 
Now, mod cards do different things. Now, they can affect the game. So, for example, this one that, obviously without opening the pack, the one that's on the front is called the a robotic slave happy to help malfunction. You die. <laughs> You may forego one activation this turn to activate a single enemy figure with either the robot, killbot, or guardbot skill, as if it were your own. This figure may not be activated again in the same turn. So basically, if your opponent has a robot on their force, you can take over it for that turn and shoot your own guy, shoot at their guys, and so basically you gain an extra player for that turn, which is actually the same. So yeah. So sorry, I was wrong. Where was I? Um, back to the other figures I got is. There was the Kickstarter exclusive, so you can't unfortunately get it. You won't be able to get this, but nonetheless, it is a model I want to show off. And his name is Radical Trevor, so he's carrying the uh, a flag. He also is in a spacesuit. So again, about to say I might have to try and do something special with that. About to say the flag is a nice big piece of thing, so maybe do um, the. The British flag, obviously you get a special Wasteman Gold Gold Wasteman activation token for that one. Sorry, I was saying I am trying to uh, get this light, light lip prop. Try that, that might work. <laughs> I also ordered Johan the Slayer. So no, you can't see that properly, can you? Hang on, let's do that. There we go. So you have Johan the Slayer. So carry his rock axe. His axe. He has what's called the Warrior Blade, and that is a sweet guitar. Definitely gonna have to do something special on that paint job. He has a gnarled hide. He's an expert gargantuan ninja warrior <laughs> and a Goliath. I need to read up on what these things do, but yeah, the fact is that he's standing on a tire is just also awesome. <laughs> so yeah, the, you know, just the, the one better thing I do like about this is that the miniatures actually come. Based already, even though you're going to get these big, big bases to activate them on. I like that they've come on these bases, so you can actually you don't have to worry about thinking, oh, what we're going to put on them. Right, and the last bit was I also got a pack of, I believe they're called. I think these were just a lot of extra extras. I think they were called or robot. I can't remember exactly what they were called when I ordered them. So I'll just show you though. So for the first one, you have Zam, who is a is an alien. He has a Mars Beamer <laughs> and a hard suit. So I envision that's quite a tough armor. You then have Lobot. So it's a tiny robot. <coughs> and then finally, you have the Bagman. Very much reminds me of um, Scarecrow out of uh, Batman. Um, Batman Begins. <laughs> I can't remember that. So yeah, but yeah, absolutely. Again, story. he is probably in terms of 40k size in comparison. He's probably roughly about human size, which is good. You know, I mean, also you know, in comparison to the sheriff, they are the right scale. But of course, you know, he's just got tall guns and stuff like that. But they are absolutely perfect. But yeah, anyway, I'm super happy to have received my first shipment. I am. Super excited about re receiving my um, Rad Dragon and all the activation bases. Um, as I said, you can check out his store. You can't buy the um, Kickstarter stuff yet, but you can buy the Rad Town miniatures, which do fit in, and the rules for a lot of the rules for them do feature in here. So you've got things like um, the Brain Toad and things like that, which do look absolutely stunning. Um, highly recommend. TC mini, uh, sorry, Thunder Child miniatures. They are fantastic. Definitely go check his, check out his Facebook page as well, and check out the store. Links will be in the description. And uh, yeah, keep the good work coming. I hope to get my behemoth soon, Jason. <laughs> get it to me soon, please, please, please get it to me soon. I want to see that big beastie if you can. I understand your rush, man, and it's only you. So yeah, don't worry about it. About it, I am not fussed. This is a fantastic load to get me started, and yeah, this will keep me busy until the beginning of the new year. Anyway, but stay tuned. Um, hopefully, for some future videos. As I said, uh, Jack got himself some uh, two factions as well. I think we got completely different ones, so we got a whole range of miniatures that we can show off. And yeah, we about to say we look forward to uh, doing a couple of games and. Uh, 
doing a battle for you so you can actually see how the game plays in, in uh, IRL. He has done a video to show sort of roughly how it does work and stuff like that. But yeah, definitely highly recommend it. And uh, yeah, well done on the product, man. I'm about to say I'm so happy we've actually gotten to this stage. And yeah, it's a great little uh, present before Christmas. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely check out his uh, Facebook page and his store. And uh, yeah, remember to... Uh, like the video, uh, great if we can get somewhere near uh, 50 likes if we can. Um, also check out um, all previous content, um, we also do, um, and let me know if in the comments section below if this is the sort of thing you do want to see. If you do want to see me sort of, I do not huge amount from Kickstarter, but if you want to see me do more unboxing things and stuff like that, you know, there are other, um, some loot crates and stuff I am considering getting, but you know, just let me know what you want, what you guys want. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe to the video, like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, see you guys all soon. Bye.